Brian of the High Plains, the Balco Bison are on the air. You're listening to Balco Bison Basketball live on the Balco Bison Sports Network. Today we have the Balco Bison and the Boys City Wildcats live from Bison Gymnasium. Balco coming in today's game with a record of six wins and nine losses on the season. Boys City coming in with a record of 11 wins and seven losses on the season. It's going to be a fun lineup. I'm, we're actually going to take a quick, quick break. I'm doing double duty today as I'm also doing in arena lineups. So we'll take a quick break. I'll do the starting lineups in here and then we'll be back with the start. Balco Bison Basketball will continue in a moment. And now, the start, and now the starting lineup for the two teams. First four, the visiting Boy City Wildcats, sophomore number one, Levon Rosas, a senior number 14, Keegan Arma, senior number 20, Caleb Arthaw, junior number 21, Drew Cadell, sophomore number 30, Jeremiah Rosas. For Balco, number three, Nathan Smith, number five, Jaden Hall, number 11, Peyton Parker, number 32, Adam Creason, number 55, Mason Romju. Going to have Jaden Hall jumping against Jeremiah Rosas. We're about to be underway here from Bison Gymnasium. Balco heading right to left across your screen. Tap is controlled by the Bison. Balco in their home white uniforms with the script. Balco across the chest, maroon lettering, maroon trim. Boys sitting in the road, black uniforms with orange lettering. Three-pointer from Smith. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound. Fought over and picked up by Keegan. Armis come back the other way now. Are the Wildcats. Armis into the front court, has the ball on the near side, being guarded by Nathan, uh, by uh, Peyton Parker. Over to Rosas. LeVon Rosas has the ball, passing over to K uh, Drew Cadell. Cadell now over to the near side. Armis has the ball, driving into the paint. Passing off to Rosas, high pass. Pa uh, the pass is deflected and stolen. Nathan Smith with it in the backcourt, giving it off to Jaden Hall. Hall directing traffic from the backcourt, giving it off to Adam Creason. And Creason, and long outlet to Romju. Over to Hall. Hall has the ball in the front court now. Double team comes, passing over to Romju. Romju to Creason between the circles. Over to Hall. Hall, 15 foot jumper off the back iron, no good. Rebound deflected out of. Uh, not out of bounds, but saved by Adam Creason. and Creason has it driving in between the circles over to Romju, over to Parker, Parker driving in the baseline, the floater is no good. Rebound deflected out of bounds, off of Boise, it'll be Balco basketball. A minute gone here in the first quarter, still no score. Peyton Parker to inbound for the Bison. Parker seeing his first starting action of the season. Outlet goes to Nathan Smith, but it was deflected. No time coming off the clock, Parker to inbound. Parker can't find anyone. Finally does find Nathan Smith between the circles over to Romju, back to Smith. And Balco to reset the offense. 6.52 to go here in the first quarter, no score. Peyton Parker has it, double team comes, cross court pass to Smith. Smith driving in through a double team, a lot of contact, no call. Ball loose, picked up by Creason. Creason has the ball knocked away, picked up by Romju. Balco to reset over to Creason. Creason has the ball, double team over to Parker. Parker for three, bang! Three point basket good for Peyton Parker. And it's three nothing Balco. 6.30 to go here in the first quarter. Into the front court, Keegan Armas has it. Giving it off to LeVon Rosas, Rosas has it. Over to K uh, Caleb Arthaw, the three-pointer is no good, rebounded by Jaden Hall. Come back the other way now for the Bison. Hall has it, long outlet to Romju has it, 
and he throws it away. Come back the other way now. Keegan Armas with it. Has the ball in the backcourt. Hall pressures. Walking it across the timeline now toward the near side. Has the ball directing traffic is Armas. Over to Cadell on the far side. 14-foot jumper is in and out. No good. Rebound deflected all the way into the backcourt. Hall goes for the steal. Doesn't get it. Jeremiah Rosas with it. Long outlet into the front court uh, to Cadell. Shots no good, but a foul. Foul's going to be on Nathan Smith. His first personal foul. First team foul. Drew Cadell will be at the line to shoot two for the Wildcats. Drew Cadell will be at the line to shoot two for the Wildcats. Junior's first free throw is up. Off the front iron, no good. Drew Cadell is a 5'10 junior from Boys City. Spins the ball, takes three dribbles. Second free throw is up. Hard off the back iron, no good. Rebound deflected, picked up by Jaden Hall. 5.45 to go here in the first quarter. Still 3-0, the score ball stolen. Arthod has it. Shot is blocked by Creason. Uh, deflect out of bounds by Hall. It'll be Boy City basketball on the baseline. 5.36 to go here in the first quarter. Certainly no shortage of energy here in the early going of this one for the Bison. Cadell with it, with, had a wide open shot, opted not to take it over to Arthod, who does. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Creason. Balco starting similarly to how they did against Tyrone the other day. Let's see if they can sustain their energy in this one. Creason has it in the backcourt. They need to get it into the front court very quickly, and it's a 10-second violation. Balco was taking forever to get it up the court, and they, did, they didn't ever get it across the timeline. So another turnover for Balco would be Boy City basketball with 5.16 to go here in the first quarter. The inbound goes to Keegan Armas, who will walk it diagonally across the timeline toward the far side. Armas with it being guarded by Peyton Parker, crossover dribble. Passing off to Rosas at the elbow, has the ball. Spin move on the block, shot is, is affected by uh, Creason. Rebound comes by Hall, Hall has it, numbers back defensively over to Parker, who has the ball wide open, driving in. The floater is blocked, saved behind his back, and it'll be a turnover. Over and back violation. Coach Regeer imploring the young sophomore to, to be patient, to calm down. 4.48 to go here in the first, uh, first quarter. 3 nothing to score. Inbound goes to Armis, who gets the play from Coach Gabriel from the sideline. He'll walk it across the timeline. Cadell has the ball now. The free throw line extended on the far side. Now back between the circles over to, over to Arthod. Arthod being guarded by Romju. Passing over to Armis. Armis, the 15-foot jumper, is in and out. No good. Rebound by Jaden Hall. Hall looking for some help, can't get it. Has the ball still in the backcourt. Over to Smith, Smith racing into the frontcourt now. Bounce pass to Parker. Parker three-pointer from the corner, bang! Peyton Parker with six points and a six-nothing favor Balco. 4-10 to go here in the first quarter. Keegan Armas has it now into the frontcourt. Over to Cadell, Cadell fakes the pass. Now, now does pass it, turnaround jumper is off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Jaden by Jaden Hall. Hall has it along the sideline. Into the front court over to Ramju. Over to Creason. and Creason has it through a double team, out of a double team, and we have an offensive foul. Creason was out of control, and that'll be a foul on Adam Creason, his first personal foul. Second team foul for the Bison, and it'll be, uh, it'll be Boy City basketball. 3.46 to go here in the first quarter. Not sure if this is the kind of start that you want or not if you're Balco. I mean, it's 6 nothing, you're up, but it, it's kind of all over the place. Arthod with the ball, driving in through a double team, no good, but a foul on the shot, and I think they're going to call that on, okay, they'll call that on Mason Robju, his first personal foul. Three team fouls, and Caleb Arthod will be at the line to shoot two. And what you don't want is for Boy City to see the ball go through the hoop a couple times. Arthod's first free throw is up and good. Arthod is a six foot senior from Boy City, takes two dribbles, the second free throw is up and good. So Arthod converts both and it's 6-2. 3.32 to go here in the first quarter. 
Smith has it, giving it off to Hall. Back to Smith, into the front court, over to Crease, increasing to Hall now between the circles, and Balco to reset. Double team comes out. Long pass over to Parker. Parker driving in, passing out of a double team over to Smith. Smith now on the wing on the far side. Three pointer from the corner, misses everything, no good. And LeVon Rose is coming back now the other way for the Wildcats, giving it off to Armas. 3.05 to go here in the first quarter. 6 2 the score, favor Boys City. Or, excuse me, favor Balco. Drew Cadell with it now, the free throw line extended. Now to Arthod between the circles, over to Rosas. LeVon Rosas being guarded by Nathan Smith. Back to Cadell. Cadell driving in now, passing back out to Keegan Armas. Armas crossover dribble, driving in. Finds Cadell wide open, the shot is blocked, no good. Peyton Parker with the rebound, giving it off to Hall. Nice aggressive defense by the Bison there. 2.38 to go here in the quarter. Hall calling for help, doesn't get it. Creason bounce pass to Parker. Parker within the corner pass is deflected out of bounds. Balco basketball, 2.27 to go here in the quarter. 6-2 the score, favor Balco. Parker inbounds to Hall. Being guarded by Cadell near the midcourt stripe. Hall into the front court, crossover dribble. Over to Ramju, and the pass is deflected and stolen. Come back the other way. Numbers for Boy City if they hurry. Cadell loses control of it, picks it back up, gives it off to Armas. Now Keegan Armas. Finds LeVon Rosas back to Armas. Armas over now, top of the key, wide open, three-pointer off the front iron, no good, rebounded by Hall. Jaden Hall looking quite winded here in the early going of this one. Under two to play here in the quarter. Hall crossover dribble, driving in, pass deflected out of bounds, and it will be Balco basketball. A minute 51 to go here in the first quarter, 6-2 the score. Adam Creason to inbound for the Bison next to the Boy City bench. Inbound goes to Smith in the backcourt. He'll walk into the front court, crossover dribble, giving it off to Creason. Creason calls for help, doesn't get it, goes around the double team, threw another double team over to Smith. Nathan Smith for three, high arcing shot, no good. Ball deflected out of bounds. And they're going to call sideline interference. Creason went to save it, and they're going to say that Creason was held by the sideline. So Balco basketball, Creason with it now near the sideline, driving in, the floater for Creason is no good. Rebound deflected over to Smith. Smith has the ball over to Romju. Romju to Creason, now a minute 40 to go in the quarter, over to Hall. Hall thought about the jumper, opted not to take it. Balco to reset, over to Smith. Smith pass deflected out of bounds. Balco basketball, a minute 33 now to go in the quarter. Very fast moving quarter so far, this one. Mason Romju to inbound for the Bison. Long outlet to Creason now between the circles. Pass deflected by Cadell. Boy City very active defensively here in this first quarter. Nathan Smith now to inbound on the near side. Creason with it now on the far side, has the ball. Long pass to Smith, Smith three pointer, bang! Three point basket good for Nathan Smith. 9-2 the score now favor Balco. And if that score sounds familiar to you, that's the score that Balco led Tyrone by the other night. 9-2 with a minute to go here in the quarter. Into the front court, LeVon Rosas has the ball, crossover dribble. Jumper is no good, rebound deflected and saved by Boy City, knocked away again. Put back off the glass and good by LeVon Rosas. Wildcats first field goal of the, of the quarter and of the game is 9-4. Creason with it, giving it back off now to Hall, Hall back to Creason. Now 42 seconds to go in the quarter. Over to Smith, Smith with it. Pass is too tall for Creason out of bound, or uh, into the backcourt. 36 seconds to go. <laughs> into the front court of the Wildcats, giving it off to LeVon Rosas. Rosas has it now. Down to the block, Cadell has a wraparound move, no good, passing it back out now. Driving in is Rosas, Rosas fade away three, no good, rebounded by Ramju. Ramju giving it off to Hall, Hall over to Ramju again, 13 seconds to go in the quarter, over to Hall. 10 seconds to go now. Hall has it near the sideline, double team comes, heavy pressure, Hall. 
Three seconds, crease and long three-pointer at the buzzer, bang! Three-pointer good for Adam Creason, and that's the end of the first quarter with your score. Balco 12, Boys City 4. We'll take a quick break. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium, where the Balco Bison lead the Boise City Wildcats by a score of 12 to 4. Wildcats have LeVon Rosas and Caleb Arthard with two points apiece. For Balco, Peyton Parker with six, Adam Creason with three, and Nathan Smith with three. Balco did not make a two-point basket in the quarter. Boise City only made one basket in the quarter. So it was a very interesting quarter to say the least. It will be Boise City basketball to start the second quarter. Jeremiah Rosas to inbound for the Wildcats, does so to Keegan Armas, who will walk it across the timeline. Just underway from the, for the second quarter here from Bison Gymnasium. Over to LeVon Rosas, Rosas has the ball being guarded by Nathan Smith, pass is deflected, saved by Armas, Armas has the ball driving in. Aggressive defense by the Bison here on this first possession. Crossover over by Armas, wants to give it off to Rosas, can't, does so to Arthod, now reversing course, Cadell has it. Bounce pass to the elbow, has the ball back and back out as Rosas finding Keegan Armas. Baskets off the glass and good. As 12-6, favor Balco. Hall has the ball, bring it across the timeline. Double team comes. Hall throws it across the court and out of bounds. So turnover for the Bison, it'll be uh, Boys City basketball with 7-14 to go in the quarter. Into the front court, Keegan Armas. We'll jog it across the timeline. Finds Cadell on the far side. The free throw line extended. Has the ball over to Jeremiah Rosas. Now over to the near side. Keegan Armas has it. Now between the circles over to Rosas. Now to Jeremiah Rosas. Has the ball. Bounce pass to Cadell. Top of the key. To the near side. LeVon Rosas has the ball. To Jeremiah Rosas. Rosas spin move. Passing off now to Drew Cadell. Cadell has the ball now. The free throw line extended. Driving in. Now has it the high post. Being guarded by Hall. Hall backs off. Over to Armas, Armas driving in. Over to Cadell, Cadell's shot is off the glass, no good, rebounded by Hall. Hall with it, long outlet to Romju. Romju gives it to Parker. Parker along the baseline, over to Creason. Creason loses control, the shot is blocked. Arthod with the rebound, coming back the other way now are the, are the Wildcats. Arthod quickly into the front court, the shot is blocked out of bounds. And they're going to call a foul on the shot on Adam Creason. It'll be his second personal foul. Four team fouls. And that'll put Caleb Arthon at the line to shoot two for Boys City. Arthon at the line to shoot two. First free throw is up and good. Arthon making hay at the free throw line so far in the early going of this one. He's three of three from the line. Second free throw is up and also good. So the senior from Boy City is 4-4 from the line and it's 12-8. Favor Balco. Hall over to Romju. Romju has it in the front court, giving it back to Hall. Now 6-12 to go here in the, in the first half. Double team comes. Hall dribbles around it. Bounce pass to Parker. Parker bounce pass to Smith. Smith over to Romju for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Nathan Smith. Balco to reset. Over to Romju. Romju has the ball now. Bounce pass to Smith. Smith with it. Wrap around dribble. Out of a double team over to Hall. Hall for three. Bang! Three point basket good for Jaden Hall. And the three point parade continues for Balco. And it's 15 to 8 favor the Bison. 5.38 to go here in the half. Over to Drew Cadell. Cadell has the ball. Passing back now to Jeremiah Rosas, being guarded very heavily by Hall. 
Over to Keegan Armas. Armas has the ball being guarded by Peyton Parker. Step back, move now, passing over to, to uh, Jeremiah Rosas. Rosas has the ball on the far side. Cadell now between the circles over to the near side. Levon Rosas has the ball. Back to Arthod now. Arthod over to Cadell. Cadell driving in, the jumper over uh, Creason, no good. Creason goes up for the rebound, knocks it back. Arthod has it. Boy City to reset, numbers for the Wildcats. Three pointer off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Creason. Back up, coming back the other way. He has Parker if he can see him, and he can't. Wow, he threw that. <laughs> Jaden Hall threw that one all the way. Jaden Hall threw that pass all the way to Shattuck. That was, that was a beautiful pass to nobody in particular. <laughs> he threw that like he was throwing that on Sundays in the NFL, man. That thing hit forever. So, Boys City basketball. The jumper from 12's off the back iron, no good, rebounded by Romju. Coming back the other way now. Creason into the front court, finds Parker off the glass, no good. Coming back the other way. Keegan Armas has the ball, wrap around dribble, crossover dribble now, back to, back to Jeremiah Rosas, back to Keegan Armas. Over to Drew Cadell, Cadell has the ball, fakes the pass. Now over to Jeremiah Rosas, it's stolen by Parker. One on one, Parker's going up, shot. Blocked out of bounds. Parker thought he was fouled, and the senior Hall saving him from a technical foul on that one, because he, he went to argue with the ref on that one, and Hall grabbed him and steered him in a different direction. Parker to inbound, does so to Smith for three. Off the back iron, no good, rebound. Out of bounds, off of Balco, it'll be Boy City basketball. 4.09 to go here in the first half. 15 to eight to score. Peyton Parker's starting to get a little frustrated with himself now. He needs to be careful because he's, he's been doing a very good job so far in this game and Coach Regeer needs his, needs his output in this one. Rosas has the ball between the circles being guarded by Hall. Giving it off to Keegan Armas. Armas being guarded by Parker. Parker, nice defense here. Splitting a double team, passing out to Arthur. Arthur driving the baseline. Fadeaway jumper, in and out, no good, rebounded by Smith. Come back the other way, R the Bison, over to Hall. Hall has the ball now, calling for some help, doesn't get it, passes over to Smith. Smith back to Hall now, 3.30 to go here in the quarter, over to Parker, Parker for three, bang! Three point basket, Peyton Parker. Peyton Parker's a man on a mission in this game so far. Nine points for Parker, it's 18 to eight, Falco, 3.25 to go in the first half. Balco Bison basketball continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium. 18 to eight to score favor Balco. It has been a three point barrage by Balco. Six three point baskets, no two point baskets for Balco so far in this game. Cadell with it driving in, passing out of a double team, giving it off to Jeremiah Rosas. Rosas backing back out. Parker going for the steal, doesn't get it. Guarding Armas, crossover dribble. Out of control, ball off of Cadell, rebounded by Smith. Balco come back the other way, three minutes to go, 10 point lead and the ball for the Bison. Hall has it, throws it to the Boy City bench. So turnover for Balco, it'll be Wildcat basketball, 2.55 now to go in the half. Keegan Armas with it, he'll walk it across the timeline. Into the front court, Keegan Armas has it, giving it off now to Drew Cadell. Cadell utilizing the Arthod screen, giving it back now. Cadell at the high post, has the ball. Parker goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Get him down to Armas, over, over the crease and shot, no good. Parker goes for the block, doesn't get it. A foul on Peyton Parker. Coach Regeer not happy with that. Keegan Armas will be at the line now to shoot two for Boys City. 2.32 to go here in the first half. That's Parker's first personal foul, five team fouls. First free throw is up on the way and good. 
Three points for Armas. Armas takes a couple dribbles, second free throw is off the back iron, in and out, no good. Rebounded by Adam Creason. Two and a half to go here in the first half, 18 to nine the score, favor Balco. Creason with it, pass deflected but goes to Hall into the front court. Pass is deflected and stolen, coming back the other way. Wildcat basketball now. Jeremiah Rosas will bring it across the timeline, giving it off to Armas, Armas has the ball. Passing off to LeVon Rosas. Rosas being guarded by Smith. Over to Arthon. Arthon to, to Armas. Armas jumper over Parker is off the side of the iron. No good. Rebounded by Hall. Jaden Hall with it. Being guarded in the backcourt. Brings it into the frontcourt. Now over to Nathan Smith. Smith with it. Over to Creason. and Creason into the frontcourt. Double team comes. Peyton Parker in front of the Boy City bench. Pass out of a double team over to Creason. A lot of contact. No call. Creason has it through a double team. Ball's knocked away and stolen. Come back the other way. Numbers back defensively for Balco. Elbow jumper is no good. Offensive rebound off the bottom of the iron, and they're going to call a foul. I think they're going to call that on Jaden Hall. That'll be Hall's first personal foul, 16 foul. Drew Cadell at the line to shoot two for Boy City. And man, I'm not too sure about that one. It didn't look like there was much contact at all on that. But again, if the official calls it, it's a foul. Shot off the glass, it's good. Adam Creason will have a seat as Levi Milliken checks into the game for his first action. Creason with three points in the game so far. Cadell, second free throw is up and good. So Drew Cadell con converts both. He has two and it's 18 to 11 now. Favor Balco. A minute 26 to go in the half. Bounce pass goes to, to Parker. Parker cross court passes Smith for three. Bang! Three point basket good, Nathan Smith. That's six for him, and it's 21 to 11 in favor of Balco. A minute 13 to go here in the first half. And Boy City's got to be wondering good grief, what do we have to do here? LeVon Rosas has it, the free throw line extended on the far side. Crossover dribble being guarded by Nathan Smith. Bounce pass between the circles over to Drew Cadell. Cadell driving in on Milliken. The jumper is off the back iron, no good. Offensive rebound, back to Cadell. Cadell jumpers, no good. Rebounded by Milliken. Milliken has it, gives it off to Hall. Hall looking to outlet, but can't find anyone. Calling for some help, can't get anyone still. Bounce pass to, to uh, Parker. Parker to Romju. Back to Hall, 33 seconds now to go in the half. Hall over to Smith, holds the ball out over his head. Double team comes, over to Hall again. Over to, to Peyton Parker. Parker pass deflected. Romju has it over to Nathan Smith for three. Off the back iron, no good. Uh, Romju with the rebound. Over to Peyton Parker. Parker has it. Fadeaway shot, no good. Rebound by Keegan Armas. And passes intercepted, coming the other way. Peyton Parker has it, eight seconds to go. Back to Hall, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. I don't think any of them see the clock. Hall has it. The floater at the buzzer is no good. And that's the end of the first half with the score. Balco 21, Boy City 11. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the first half recap and exciting second half action from Bison Gymnasium. Balco Bison Basketball will continue in a moment.
We'll come back to Bison Gymnasium where the Valco Bison lead the Boise City Wildcats by a score of 21 to 11. For Boise City, they're paced by Caleb Arthaud who had four points, Keegan Armas with three, and then two apiece for LaVon Rosas and Drew Cadell. For Balco, Peyton Parker led the way with nine. Nathan Smith with six, and then three apiece for Jaden Hall and Adam Creason. Balco did not make a two-point basket or a free throw in the first half. You have to feel like one of those things is going to have to change in the second half in order for them to, to win this game. But as long as they keep converting three-point baskets, I guess it's not really going to matter. But we're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we'll have the start of the second half live from Bison Gymnasium. Welcome Bison Basketball. We'll continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium with the start of the second half. Balco leads Boise City by a score of 21-11. It'll be Balco basketball to start the second half. Bison going for left to right across your screen. Balco in their home white uniforms with the maroon lettering black trim. Creason with the ball on the block. Turn around, jumper off the glass. No good, but a foul. <laughs> foul on Jeremiah Rose. It's his first personal foul. First team foul of the game for Boise City. That's the first foul committed by Boise City in this game. Adam Creason at the line to shoot two. First free throw is up. Off the front iron, no good. One more free throw forthcoming for the 6'4 senior from Balco. He spins it, second free throw is up and good. Creason converts one of two, and Balco now has their largest lead of the game at 11, 22 to 11. 15 seconds gone here in the second half. Armas has the ball in the front court. Finds Jeremiah Rosas, or excuse me, finds Arthod cutting. Shot off the glass is good. Arthod with his first field goal. He has six points. It's 22 to 13 now. Seven and a half to go here in the third quarter. Smith giving it off to Hall. Hall has the ball. Find increase in between the circles. Back to Hall. Hall over to Peyton Parker. Bounce pass deflected out of bounds off of Adam Creason. and it'll be Boyd City basketball. And what Balco does not want to do is start turning the ball over here in the third quarter. If you remember last time they played Boyd City two weeks ago in Shattuck, they had, a they had a double digit lead going into half, and then in the third quarter, Boise City came alive and started really pulling away in the second half. They, they uh, seized control of the game and built the lead up to as many as 14, did the Wildcats after trailing by as many as 11. Nathan Smith with the steal, coming back the other way now are the Bison. Into the front court, Mason Romji with it, finds a cutting Adam Creason driving through a, the, a double team shot off the glass, no good, rebounded by Jeremiah Rose, is coming back the other way now 
is Arthod into the front court. And a blocking foul called on Mason Romju. It'll be Romju's second personal foul, first team foul of the half. It'll be Boy City basketball inbounding from the baseline. 6.46 to go here in the third quarter. Our thought to inbound does so to Rosas at the top of the key. Hall knocks it away. Rosas with it. As the ball's deflected again and stolen this time by Nathan Smith. Man, all, all kinds of action defensively. Driving in now. Creason with it. The floater in the paint is good. Adam Creason with the floater. Six points for him. It's 24 to 13. 6.25 to go here in the quarter. Keegan Armis bringing it across the midcourt stripe. Jairo Morales is set to check in at the next dead ball for the uh, Wildcats. Three-pointer from uh, uh, from Arthod, no good, but an offensive rebound driving in now over Creason. The shot is deflected. Saved near the uh, paint. Ball still loose. Saved uh, off of Jaden Hall and out of bounds. It'll be Boy City basketball inbounding on the baseline. Hall giving it to the official with a little bit of frustration there. Caleb Arthaud to inbound from the baseline. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter. 11 point lead for Balco. Arthaud looking to inbound. Does so to Armas. Armas has the ball, the floater in the paint. Oh no, giving it off to uh, Jairo Morales who immediately comes in and contributes. Off the glass and good for Morales. His first point says 24 to 15, 548 to go here in the third quarter. Nathan Smith into the front court, giving it off to Crease, and Crease and double team comes, giving off to, to, to Hall. Goes to pass it, it's not there, pass is deflected. Hall with it now. Back to Nathan Smith, and Balco's gonna reset the offense. Five and a half to go here in the third quarter. Jaden Hall looking to direct traffic, heavy pressure coming. Giving back to Smith, Smith over to Parker. Wow. Wow, Peyton Parker was shoved out of bounds. No foul call. But they're going to say Balco basketball. Inbound goes to Crease, and Crease through a double team, loses it. Come back the other way, fast break opportunity. Cadell has it, loses control of the ball. Mason Robbs, you knocked it out of bounds. It'll be Boys City basketball with 5.19 to go in the quarter. Caleb R. thought to inbound for the Wildcats. R. thought directing traffic. Inbound goes to Morales, has the ball. Now over to Rosas, Rosas has the ball, giving it off to Armas. Armas has the ball, get caught on his hip, giving it off now to Arthod. Arthod driving in, through a double team, back to Rosas. Rosas has the ball over to Arthod for three, misses everything, rebound deflected out of bounds off of, Mor off of um, Hall. So it'll be Boy City basketball. And they're gonna reverse their decision and say Balco basketball. I feel like what happened was they called Boy City basketball and then the official realized himself that it wasn't, but he wanted to just kind of make sure. Creason with it into the front court, Smith now. 16 foot jumper for Smith is off the glass, no good. Rebound by the Wildcats, the Balco offense has come to a screeching halt and they're gonna be a blocking foul on Jaden Hall. Be his second personal foul, third team foul for Balco. Creason's second team foul. Be Boy City basketball, 4.42 to go here in the quarter. Balco's got to find some sort of offensive rhythm. Armis with the ball, crossover dribble being guarded by, by Parker, spin move, spins into a double team. Over to Cadell, Cadell has the ball now in the paint. Jumper over Creason is blocked. Hall with the rebound. Can't get rid of it, so he'll take it himself, bring it into the front court. Over to Romju, Romju driving baseline, passing out of a double team over to Hall. Hall cross court pass to Parker, Parker to Smith. Smith thought about it, back to Parker. Parker for three, off the front iron, no good. Offensive rebound, ball loose on the floor. And it'll be Boy City ball. Come back the other way now, Keegan Armas with it. Armas finds Rosas, being guarded by Parker. Back defensively are the Bison, three pointer for Arthod. No good, rebound deflected out of bounds off of Peyton Parker, it'll be Boy City basketball. Oh no, they're gonna say it was off of LeVon Rosas. There were a couple of players in the vicinity of it. So Balco basketball under four to play now here in the third quarter. Smith with it over to Hall, Hall with it back to Smith again on the near side, holds the ball high above his head. Now takes a couple dribbles, skip move over to Hall. 
Hall directing traffic, giving it back to Smith. 2-2, one zone being employed by Boys City. Parker has it. The floater is blocked. Arthod with the rebound. Come back with a reach-in foul on Nathan Smith. That'll be Smith's second personal foul. Three team fouls for Balco, and it'll be Boys City basketball inbounding on the near side. Caleb Arthod to inbound on the near sideline next to the timeline. Inbound goes to Keegan Armas. Man, Balco's offense has gone ice cold. Fortunately for them, so has Boys City as they've only been able to make up two points in this debt. And we have, we have a foul away from, the, uh, away from the ball on Mason Romju, and that's three on him. And now we're starting to run into some trouble for Balco. Four team fouls. Boy City basketball. Armis has the ball between the circles, being guarded by Peyton Parker. Passing now over to Rosas. Rosas looking to pass. Lane isn't there. Giving it off to Cadell. Cadell now driving in, utilizing the Morales screen. Driving in, balls deflected out of bounds off of Nathan Smith. It'll be Boy, uh, Boy City basketball. Inbounding on the baseline with 3.03 to go here in the quarter. Our thought to do the inbounding honors for the Wildcats does so to Cadell. Cadell has the ball driving in on Romju, passing over to Rosas. Rosas being guarded by Smith, has the ball on the elbow. The jumper is no good, rebounded by Creason. Creason with it, wanting to race into the front court, has the ball, numbers back defensively for Boy City. Creason shot off the glass, no good, rebound loose, picked up by Arthod. Coming back the other way now are the Wildcats. Numbers for Boy City, if they hurry, the floater is off the back iron, no good, rebound loose, picked up by Arthod, shot no good, rebounded by Hall. Coming back the other way now for, for Balco. Sloppy play going on both ways. Ramju with it, cross court pass deflected. It was going to Peyton Parker, and Adam Creason deflected it. It looks like Adam Creason got a finger to the eye, and so he's going to go to the locker room. It'll be Boy City basketball. Inbounding near the scores table are the Wildcats. Armis will walk it across the timeline, diagonally toward the near side. Cutting now, giving it off to Rosas, who loses control, but gets it back. Cross-court pass to Cadell, has the ball. Not interested in shooting the three, but he'll drive the lane. Ball's deflected out of bounds by Romju. Nice, nice hands by Mason Romju on that. It'll be Boy City basketball inbounding from the baseline. Caleb Arthod to inbound for the Wildcats. 2-12 to go here in the third quarter. Bounce pass goes to Drew Cadell. Has the ball, driving in. Jumper from the block is no good. Gets his own rebound and a foul. Foul on Mason Romju, and that's going to be his fourth. And Coach Regeer is going to, going to make him stay in there with four fouls. Inbound to Morales, and we have a foul. Foul is going to be on Levi Milliken, his second personal foul. 16 fouls already. And so it's going to be free throws the rest of the game for Boys City. And this is exactly what happened in the game two weeks ago. Morales at the line to shoot two for Boy City. The first free throw is up and good. Jeremiah Rosa set to check into the game. I think he's coming in for Jairo Morales, who's presently at the line. So one more free throw forthcoming for the junior from Boy City. It's on the way and good. So Morales converts both, he has four. He'll have a seat, Rosas will come back into the game. It is 24 to 17 now, just over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Balco led by as many as 12, it's now a seven point game at 24 to 17. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Smith has the ball, being guarded very closely by Rosas, has the ball, passing back to Hall. Hall being guarded by Cadell, calling for some help, doesn't get it, Cadell deflects the ball. Hall picks up his dribble, cross-court pass over to Smith. Smith to Parker. Parker over to Hall. Hall has the ball, thought about the jumper off the knot to take it, pass is intercepted and stolen. Keegan Armas coming back the other way now. Minute 37 to go here in the quarter. Armas with the ball now between the circles, a minute and a half to go. Cadell, bounce pass to the block. Arthod has a jumper over Hall, no good. Hall with the rebound. 
Beats three, Wildcats four. It has the ball, driving all the way in. The shot is off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Rosas. Jeremiah Rosas has to come back the other way, giving it off now to Keegan Armas. Clean shot at the, clean look at the basket for Hall. It just didn't fall. Hall, Hall tagging Arthod there. The shot is good for Drew Cadell, four for him, and it's now a five point game. 24 to 19, under a minute to go. And this has been an absolute disaster of a quarter for Balco. Hall has the ball, giving it back to Smith. Smith driving in, passing over to Parker. Parker saving it to Hall. Balco to reset, Smith with it, three pointer. Shot is blocked. Over to Parker, Parker for three. No good, rebound picked up by Hall. Hall has it, the putback is blocked, no good. Put back also no good. Ramju with it, put back no, but a foul. Foul going to be on Caleb Arthod, his first personal foul, second team foul. Mason Ramju with the line to shoot two. Ramju's first free throw is off the back iron, no good. Adam Creason set to check back into the game. I think Creason set the chicken for uh, Mason Romju. Second free throw is off the back iron, no good. Rebound picked up by Jaden Hall. So Nathan Smith with the ball now. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. One that's been terrible for Balco. They've scored two points in this quarter. Smith with it on the far side. 15 seconds to go. Double team comes. Bounce pass to Hall. Hall with it. Double team comes over to him. Hall gives it off to Parker. Parker looking to get rid of it. Gives it back to Hall. Seven seconds now. Six seconds. Five. Utilizing the screen. Four. Three. Passes deflected and stolen. Two. One. Three pointer at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Balco 24. Boys City 19. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with fourth quarter action. Balco by some basketball. I'll continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium where the Balco Bison lead Boys City by a score of 24 to 19. After three quarters of play, Balco scored three points in that quarter and they were all by Adam Creason. And unlike the first two quarters, it was a free throw and a two point basket. There were no three point baskets in that quarter. It'll be Boys City basketball to start the fourth quarter as LeVon Rosas will do the inbounding honors for the Wildcats. It's a five point lead for Balco and they're going to need their offense to come alive here in the fourth quarter if they're going to hang on and win this game. Into the front quarter, Arthod has the ball, knocked away by Hall, still with it. Driving in now, the shot over Creason, blocked, and a foul. Foul on Adam Creason, that'll be his third personal foul. Seven team fouls, and Caleb Arthod will be at the line to shoot two for Boy City. Arthod, the leading scorer for the Wildcats. First free throw is up, and good. I thought it's five of five from the free throw line so far. Second free throw is up, and also good. He converts both. I thought it's six of six from the free throw line, has eight points, and it's now a three point game, 24-21. Nathan Smith into the front court. Adam Creason has it, giving it off to Hall. Hall for three. Bang! Three-point basket, good Jaden Hall. 
That's six for him, and it's 27-21. Into the front court. Now King at Armas has it. Rosas now with a point blank range. Who tie ball, possession arrow favors Balco. So it'll be Balco basketball with 7.20 to go in regulation. Jaden Hall wincing on the sideline. He's got a little bit of a limp as he comes up the court. Not a good sign for Bison fans. Creason has it the elbow. The floater in the paint is around the rim and good. Eight points for Creason. And it's 29-21. 7.05 to go here in the ball game. Into the front court, Keegan Armas with it. Armas being guarded by Parker, giving it off to Cadell. Cadell driving in. Rob Jew going for the steal. Cadell's layup is off the glass and good. Six for Cadell, and it's now 29-23 favor Balco. Creason with it in the backcourt, back to Smith, back to Creason. Now Hall at the top of the key, double team comes, giving it back off to Adam Creason, loses control, giving it back to Adam Creason again. Over to Nathan Smith, drew a, a, a Hall between the circles, back to uh, Creason, now shot from the block, no good. Put back by Romju is no good. Rebound by the Wildcats. And a chance for them to close it to four or three with a basket. Drew Cadell with it, driving in, loses his footing, loses control, stolen by Adam Creason. Numbers back defensively for Boy City, and we have a foul, an offensive foul on Adam Creason. So that'll be four fouls on Adam Creason. So that's Creason's fourth personal foul. Boy City basketball, 6-10 to go in the ball game. Driving in now, Armas, the shot off the glass and good. Keegan Armas went coast to coast, nobody even came close to picking it up. And it's 29-25, under six to play in the ball game. Peyton Parker with it on the far side, has the ball pressure, comes over to Hall. Hall has it, still has his dribble if he wants it. He takes it, double team comes, giving it off now to Nathan Smith. Smith between the circles over to Jaden Hall. Hall passing it back to Smith. Smith through a double team. The floater in the lane is no good. Rebounded by Arthon. And Balco's offense again has gone ice cold. Into the front court now. Keegan Armas has a crossover dribble. And we've got, we have a timeout, have a timeout on the floor, and the, both of the coaches are giving the officials pieces of their mind. So it's a full timeout, we're gonna take it with them. Uh, back up by some basketball, continue in a moment. Five nineteen to go here in regulation. 29-25, your score. The inbound goes to Cadell. Shot off the glass is good. Eight points for Drew Cadell, and it's 29-27. Closest it's been since 2-0. Actually, no. It's the closest it's been the entire game. Because it never was 2-0. It was 
Creason has it on the block to turn around. Jumpers, no good. Rebound. Rebound by the Wildcats. Come back the other way. Boy City with a chance to tie or take the lead into the front court. Rose is shot, no good. Rebounded by Hall. Coming back the other way. Shot, no good. Offensive foul on Peyton Parker. That's three fouls on Peyton Parker. So that's Peyton Parker's third personal foul. Nine team fouls. And again, Boise City with a chance to tie or take the lead with a basket here. 4.35 to go in regulation. Into the front court, Artha, three-pointer. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound back to Artha. Ball deflected out of bounds. Off of Cadell, it'll be Balco basketball. 4.25 to go. Inbound goes to Nathan Smith. Smith giving it back to Hall. Smith now into the front court with it. Cadell goes to the steal, doesn't get it. Hall gives it, bounce uh, uh, over to Parker. Parker, pass deflected, and a foul. Foul on Jeremiah Rosas, his second personal foul, third team foul. Tobacco basketball inbounding from the baseline. 4.09 to go in the ball game. Outlet goes to Creason, over to Smith, Smith for three. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Hall, put back, no good. Rebound by Rosas, come back the other way. Arthaud in the front court, has the ball, shot, no good. Rebound loose, picked up by Romju, over to Hall. 3.50 to go in the ball game. Hall walking it into the front court, and Hall is not looking well at all. Three-pointer for Smith, off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Hall. Rosas goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Hall with it, ball's knocked away. 3.36 to go in regulation. 29-27, your score, favor Boys City. Inbound goes to Peyton Parker, cross-court pass to Romju. Bounce pass back to Parker, calls for the screen, doesn't get it. Parker reverses course now to Jaden Hall. Hall still has his dribble. Over to Parker. Parker fakes the pass, finds the cutting Smith. Smith's floater blocked out of bounds by Rosas. 3.19 to go in the ballgame, Balco basketball. Inbounding from the baseline. Nathan Smith to inbound underneath the basket. I was like, how far, how far are they going to, because Smith kept coming toward the basket. I was like, how far are they going to make him go? Because they can't make you go underneath the basket. As the inbound goes to Creese and, and a foul by Keegan Armas, his first personal foul, 14 fouls. And Balco to inbound now on the near sideline. Peyton Parker to do the inbounding honors for the Bison. Inbound goes to Hall. Being guarded very closely by Cadell. Hall hesitation dribble, has the ball. Crossover dribble now being guarded by Armis, has the ball, giving it off to Creason. Creason calls for the screen, then doesn't use it. Backdoor screen over to Smith. Smith to, uh, to Parker, Parker to Creason. Creason to Smith, Smith loses control of it, giving it back to to Creason is in a two-man game over to, to Smith on the near side. Parker loses control, has the ball cross court pass to Creason. Creason driving in through a double team, the floater in the paints off the glass, no good. Put back by Hall, also no good. Put back again, no good, and a foul. Jaden Hall will be at the line to shoot two fouls, going to be on Keegan Armis. His second personal foul, five team fouls. Balco just cannot get the ball to go through the hoop at this point. 2.41 to go in the ball game. 29-27 the score, favor the Bison. Hall's first free throw is up. Around the rim and good. And boy, did the Bison need to see that. They just need to see the ball go through the hoop. Hall takes two dribbles, second free throw is up. Off the back iron, no good. Offensive rebound and a foul. Foul on Jeremiah Rose is his third personal foul. It'll be Balco basketball inbounding from the side, from the baseline. 2.40 to go in the ball game. Peyton Parker to inbound, and the inbound is deflected by Arthod. We'll remain with Balco. One second comes off the clock. 
And the inbound is stolen. So Boys City basketball, 2.35 to go in the game. Arthod into the front court, has the ball, giving it off to Armas. Boys City away for the offense to set now, under two and a half to play in the ball game. Rosas has the ball in front of the Boys City bench. Over now to the near side, Cadell has it. Giving it off to Arthod, back to Cadell, driving in. The floater is no good. Deflected out of bounds, off of Rosas. And it'll be Valco basketball, 2.18 to go in regulation. Valco with a three-point lead and the ball. Nathan Smith giving it back to Jaden Hall, back to Nathan Smith, who's in the front court now. Over to Creason. Creason floater in the paint, misses everything. And into the backcourt and out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover. And Boy City basketball. Inbounding on the sideline nearest their basket now. Just over two minutes to go in the game. Our thought to inbound on the sideline. And it's stolen by Nathan Smith. Adam Creason now into the front court. Fast break opportunity. The floater is good for Adam Creason. Ten points for Adam Creason. First player for either team in double figures. And it's now 32-27 favor Balco. Under two to play in the ballgame. Into the front court. Drew Cadell has it at the elbow. Pass back to Arthok for three. Off the front iron. No good. Rebound by Adam Creason. A lot of contact and a foul. That was a frustration foul on Jeremiah Rosas. That'll be four on him. So Adam Creason will be at the line to shoot one and one for Balco. And that was, that was pure frustration there for Jeremiah Rosas as he had position and Creason went in there and got the ball. So now one and one for the 6'4 senior from Balco. Chance to really put some distance here. First free throw is on the way and good. Bonus free throw now forthcoming for Adam Creason. If he makes it, it'll be a three possession game with a minute 40 to go. Creason's second free throw is up. Off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Rosas. A minute 38 to go in the game. Six point lead for Balco. Boy City basketball. Coach Gabriel calling the play from the sideline. Caleb Arthaud directing traffic from, uh, from the front court, calling for the Rosas screen. Gets it, the floater from Arthaud, high off the glass, no good, deflected out of bounds by Parker, it'll be Boy City basketball. A minute 20 to go in the ball game. Caleb Arthaud to inbound in front of the Balco, uh, the Balco sideline here. Inbound to the top of the key, Smith has it. Or excuse me, over, over to Rosas for three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Deflected out of bounds. Oh, I thought Peyton Parker deflected that. It looked like Parker deflected it, but it's going to be Balco basketball with a minute 12 to go in the ball game. 33-27, and now Balco just needs to be smart about it. Don't commit any turnovers. Don't do anything that's going to cost you the game. Hall with the ball, back over to Smith. Smith with it, back to Hall. Hall back to Smith again. And Balco completely content to run clock. Ramju shot off the glass. Good. Mason Ramju with a perfect time for his first points of the game. 35-27. Artha with the floater from the baseline. No good. Rebound by Adam Creason. 43 seconds to go in the ball game. Hall over to Creason. Back to Hall. Hall has it. Ball deflected out of bounds by Rosas. It'll be Balco basketball in the front court with 35 seconds to go in the game. Officials time out to clean up a spot on the floor. We have 35.3 seconds left to go in the game. Balco 35, Boy City 27. A reminder that the Balco Bison and Lady Bison teams will be back in action on Friday at home against Beaver. It'll be senior night. We'll be honoring the seniors, four of them on the, on the gentleman team and two of them on the ladies team. Should be a fun festive night. It's also going to be the Little Bison Cheer Night here. Creason, we have a foul on the floor. Foul on LeVon Rosas, that'll be his first personal foul, eighth team foul. Adam Creason will be at the line to shoot one and one. And Adam Creason can absolutely salt this game away here if he makes both of these. Creason's first free throw is up. In and out, no good. So he misses the front end. Into the front court, Rosas has the ball, finds Cadell. Cadell floater is around the rim and good. 
10 points for Drew Cadell. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with him. 21.9 seconds left. Balco 35, Boy City 29. Balco Bison basketball will continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium. 21.9 seconds left in regulation. Balco 35, Boy City 29. It's Balco basketball. Jaden Hall to inbound. He has full use of the baseline if he wants it. Hall looking to inbound. Gets it to Creason. Creason fouled in the backcourt by Drew Cadell. Foul hard, and then Cadell goes over to, to say, hey, brother, didn't mean to, didn't mean to fight you quite that hard. And uh, knowing Adam Creason, and he's like, no, 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 no offense taken by that at all. You know, it's just part of the game. So Adam Creason will be at the line now to shoot one and one. Creason, first free throw is on the way, and good. And that ought to just about do it, as that makes it a three-possession ball game now with 20 seconds to go. 12 points for the senior with one more forthcoming. It's on the way. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Arthon. That's almost preferable because that gets the clock running faster. Arthon, long three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Cadell. Armas for three is good. Keegan Armas with the three-pointer. That's eight for him. 36-32 with 9.9 .9 seconds left to go. It's a full timeout. We'll leave it right here. So just under 10 seconds left to go in this ball game. You start running scenarios though at this point with 10 seconds left. You gotta think, Balco will inbound it. Assuming there's not a steal, they're gonna foul. That'll run a little bit of time off the clock. If Balco only converts one of the two free throws, they've still gotta come down, make a three pointer that runs more time off the clock. Boy City only has one timeout left. They'll call it presumably if they score a, a basket there. Then Balco inbounds. They've got to do the whole thing over and over again. The, the opportunities for Boy City start becoming really, really thin unless Balco commits a turnover in the backcourt. So for Balco, the key is just going to be get the ball inbounds. If they can get the ball inbounds, that should be ball game. As there's now just 9.9 .9 seconds left. And it's still a two possession ball game no matter what. Jaden Hall to inbound, and he does have full use of the baseline if he wants it. Uh, timeout is timeout by Balco. 30 second timeout, so we'll leave it here. Again, a reminder that the Balco Bison and Lady Bison teams will be back in action on Friday for senior night as they take, as they play host to Beaver. The Lady Bison will be in action at 6.30. The Bison will be in action at 8 o'clock. And then it's playoff time in Oklahoma. Next week, we head all the way out to Helena for the first round as the Balco Bison and Lady Bison teams will be at Timberlake High School for their first round playoff action. The Lady Bison will play on Thursday. The Bison will play on Friday. And then if they win their first round games, then they'll play on Saturday. But they are four team districts this year, and so it's win or go home right off the bat. If they don't win right, if they don't win the first round game, their season's over. Inbound goes to Nathan Smith. He's fouled. Foul's going to be on Drew Cadell. For him, that'll be his second personal foul. Nobody on Boys City except for um, Jeremiah Rosas is in foul trouble. And he's not anywhere near fouling anyone. He, they, they're keeping him as far away from the inbound as possible as the free throw for Smith is good. Seven points now for Nathan Smith with one more forthcoming. And Balco's now in the double bonus, so they're shooting two free throws no matter what. Second free throw is up, in and out, no good. And again, that's not the worst thing ever. Inbound goes to Armas. Armas has it. Three-pointer is good with 2.2 seconds left to go. 11 points for Keegan Armas. 
He's now the leading scorer for Boy City. But again, all Balco has to do is inbound the ball cleanly, and that's going to be ball game. It's a full timeout, so we'll take it with him with two seconds left to go. Balco 37, Boy City 35. Balco buys some basketball. Continue in a moment. Welcome back to Bison Gymnasium. 2.2 seconds left in the game. It comes down to this. Balco 37, Boy City 35. Balco basketball, they've got to inbound it cleanly. Hall looking to inbound. This so to Romju, Romju with it over to Creason, and that's the ball game. And a game that ended up being very, very exciting. Balco 37, Boy City 35. Man. This was an exciting night of basketball, both games, holy cow. So that's gonna be a wrap for us here from Balco. My goodness, we have one more game this season. And that's on Friday against Beaver. Balco improves to seven and nine on the season, Boy City falls to 11 and eight. Until next time, this is David Vaughn reminding you that no amount of success can compensate for failure at the home. Make sure that you let your family know each and every day just how much you love them. Until next time, take care and God bless.